Zechariah, he was that age, but he had no kids. And an angel of the Lord appeared to him when he was in the temple ministry. And he said, Zechariah, you're going to have a son. His name's going to be John. You don't name him after yourself or anyone in the family. He's going to have a new name uh, that no one in your family has. It's going to be John. And John says, how, how can you be sure this is going to happen? Because I am too old to have kids. And you know what the angel Gabriel said? He said, did you know that I stand in the presence of God? And what I say it always comes to pass. But because you don't believe me, um, you are going to be stricken dumb, which means he's not going to be able to talk until your baby's born. And so John comes out, uh, the angel is gone. John comes out of the temple. And everybody's like, hey, John. They're all standing here. They, they like, wow, he looks like... Like, I don't know. He looks like something just happened to him. What do you guys think? They're like, yeah, he definitely looks like he saw an angel. They're like, tell us what happened, John. What happened? The reason he was stricken dumb and wasn't able to speak is because we have power in our words. And if he was like, this is never going to happen, God wouldn't have been able to do it. That's how much power God's given us in our words. Let's put this background on. And so the angel said, this has to happen. You know why? If John doesn't come, he can't speak words into the world to prepare the way for Jesus to come. And they wanted Jesus to come because if Jesus doesn't come, then we don't have a Savior to take us to heaven. And we're all doomed to go to hell. And so John the Baptist is the baby that was inside her tummy. And did you know he was the first human to get filled with the Holy Spirit? He was filled with the Holy Spirit in her tummy. Isn't that cool? Um, whenever Mary came to Elizabeth's house, because Elizabeth was like an old granny, but she was pregnant, and she heard that her cousin was pregnant too. And so they decided to hang out together for a few months because they were pregnant in the same house. Mary came to spend some time with Elizabeth, and the child in, in Elizabeth's womb, which is John the Baptist, he jumped for joy inside her belly. And he was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she started to prophesy when he did that. And you know what she said? This is just an example of Jesus. He didn't actually appear because he wasn't born yet. But Jesus is who she prophesied about. She talked about how a Savior is going to be born. And her, she was filled with the Holy Spirit. And John the Baptist, he's the one that this prophet spoke of. When it says here that the, you know how the, it's like, hey kid, you know, be quiet. Children are meant to be seen and not heard. Stuff like that. Oh, I had them turn it off, I think. Nope, it's going. Okay, good. Good. Um, And it makes kids be like, parents and older people don't, they don't pay attention to us, what we need. So it makes them be like, hmm, I'm not going to listen to you. If they're like, hey, listen up kid, you little snot-nosed brat, you go do this. Kids are going to be like, you know what? I don't think so. That's very disrespectful to me. And so kids, their hearts start to get hard, and then they start to grow up from kids to older people, and then they disrespect everything that the older people say, even though there's some wise things that the older people have to say that will help those kids have a good life. But because they were not kind, they turn away. It says they're disobedient, and they turn away from the wisdom of their elders. And the, the... elders need to have a heart for the children and to pay attention to what you guys need and be like so you know you know if you're a kid and you say your mom's name over and over she is truly busy sometimes but sometimes as adults we get so distracted we need to be able to focus and pay attention to what matters which is you guys you guys matter and we matter our connection matters the parents and the adults and so what the what John the Baptist was anointed to do by the Holy Spirit that was in Elizabeth's tummy was to, to speak words to people to help them understand and bridge that gap and bring them back together so that the parents would listen to their kids and give them what they need, the wisdom that they need, and the love, mostly the love. Kids need love, but kids also need to be obedient. And so it needs to come together. And that's what John the Baptist did. Cool, cool.